us a little bit with the uh, uh, one billion to rising. When you first thought about this, um, I just want what really, what was you to, to create this foundation and this organization? Well, for maybe 15 years, we had been doing V-Day, which is a global movement to end violence against women, which grew out of the vagina monologues. And the, the movement was really powerful in the sense that people were doing thousands of productions of the plays in hundreds of countries. We had broken taboos, we had changed culture, you know, we supported existing organizations that had been here for many years. We had done really, we'd had many victories, but we hadn't ended violence against women. So on our 15th year, I was thinking, okay, here we are. We've, we've, we've made strides, but we haven't ended it. We haven't really brought this to the place where it needs to go. And I was in Congo, and I was dancing with a group of amazing women, and the dancing was so powerful. And I was obsessed with this statistic that one out of three women will be beaten or raped in her lifetime, which is a billion women. And I thought to myself in that moment, wow, what if a billion women and all the men who love them rose and danced to end violence against women? And it was a wild idea, and we put out the invitation, and it was just, we had a lot of networks, because Vida had been around for 15 years, and people like Monique Wilson, who'd been a Vida activist for years, had been doing the play, had, you know, was attached to Gabriella, which is such an amazing movement and network. It went everywhere, and the invitation was just taken up by local groups in communities in over 200 countries who just took it and really just um, used it to enable existing work, to energize existing work, to catalyze what they'd already been doing, to, to broaden and deepen coalitions, to look at the intersection of issues, and the first year it just took off. No, I, I've been obsessed about yeah. a billion. What is a billion women? What does it mean that a billion women will be raped or beaten? That's just a statistic. But when you think about what is a billion, even a billion dots on a page. And I think one of the things we've seen is how resonant, um, A, the idea of dancing is, because dancing is so powerful, right? Dancing brings you back into your body, it brings you back into your muscles, it reclaims public space. I think for many women who have been abused, they've been a force to leave their bodies because, you know, when you're raped or when you're exploited economically, when you're beaten, when you're used, when you're harassed, you can't live in your body, it's too unsafe. But when you dance, you come back into your body, into your power, into your creativity, into your imagination. You know, every year I've interviewed Monica this year and I'm thinking, well, the challenge, like you always have to raise the bar. Where does one find that, we make that it inspiration to really keep people motivated, like, especially on this day? On a, on and a violence against well, you know, it's so funny. I don't feel like, no, I feel like no, everyone's no. motivating and themselves. This movement has been owned no, by everybody. No. I think I think one of the beautiful things we're seeing about One Billion Rising is that here we are with the domestic and migrant workers. And they are using One Billion Rising to rise for the injustices they are facing and the exploitation they are facing and the abuses and the lack of livable wage and forced to work more than eight hours and forced to live in um, services. So I think one of the things that we're seeing is that every year it's getting bigger. Every year it's spreading, every year it's deepening, every year it's going further into villages and towns, and it's happening on its own. It's happening because people need it to be happening. So I've only been here two days, but it's been amazing. And I have to say the organizations here today that are organizing with and for migrant and domestic workers are so powerful and so committed and so devoted. And to see this many women out here today, thousands of women, who are really dancing for their lives. They're dancing for their lives. The kind of treatment that we're seeing with women who have been exported from the Philippines, from Indonesia, from Sri Lanka, from India, and the way they have no protection, nobody's looking out for them, the way they're treated. It's a matter of life and death. So it's been very emotional for me to be here and to march in the streets and to dance and to feel the urgency.